Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl, Quirk Trim Girl Gia. Hi. I know you missed me, didn't you? I missed you guys so much. I missed you so much. Um, a lot has been happening in my uh, real life outside of the 8CG community and I just had to go on a hiatus for a little bit and regroup, refocus, and recharge my batteries so I can be on the ball on this protocol. Um, <clears throat> round 3 has been proven to be a bit of a challenge. I'm not mentally in the game all the way and I find myself every week having to remind myself of my goals and, and um, my plans for my future when it comes to this journey. And um, I think I'm getting there. I think I'm getting there. So we'll see. We'll see. I mean, today's VLCD day 22. And you know what? For some reason, this round, the days are creeping by slowly. Slowly. I, I just don't get it. It's I'm now on day 22, and I feel like I'm on day 40. <laughs> or maybe it's just, you know, the stress of real life. But um, I'm on day 22. And all I have to show for it is 10.4 pounds. Granted, I cheated. You know, that sonic incident. And um, with everything that's been going on in my real life, I haven't been sleeping well. I haven't been um, having my allotted water intake. And I'm also, I haven't been eating well. I've been eating on protocol, but I haven't been eating constantly like I should be. So my metabolism isn't as charged up as it should be, I guess. Um, I just haven't been feeling hungry. Just Like I said, mentally I'm not there with real life stuff. And I had a really serious talk with the voices in my head last night. And those that spoke English, they were really for it, for me getting up getting back on the ball and, you know, just throwing caution to the wind, realizing that I can't please everyone in life. I have to please myself. And um, I'm not a selfish person. The, one of the Mexicans in my head, they wanted me to say, you know, F everyone. It's all about you, Mira. It's all about you, senorita. But I'm not that type of person. So I have been struggling with that whole put yourself first type thing. So I'm trying to find an even balance and an equal balance between putting myself first and taking care of responsibilities that I have to take care of. But for the most part, I think we have a united front with the voices in my head that I need to get off my ass and stop bullshitting and get back on protocol, be pop, eat, take my HCG and release the mother out of the shit. Part of my French. That's one of the French voices in my head. Um, you know, so that that's about it. I've just been really down in the dumps and, you know, find myself in a dark closet just boiling my eyes out. <laughs> just boiling my eyes out. And, you know, one of the voices keeps like, I want cake! I want cake! And the other one's like, I want ice cream! I'm like, I don't even eat ice cream! So, I'm back. I'm back, guys. And, I'm, you know, I just have to do this. I have to do this. This, I've been through so much in my life. Everyone's been through a lot in their life. But in my life, I've been through a lot. <laughs> a lot. And it still amazes me to hear people say, You'll get past this because you've been through worse. And I'm thinking, okay, thanks for the pep talk. I've been through worse. Thank you. I know. Hello. It's me. I've been through worse. But thank you for reminding me that I had worse than this. <laughs> but, you know, I know they mean well. And, um... I just gotta thank everybody out there. You know who you are, who've been my shoulder, who've been my ear, who've given me tough love, 
<laughs> over and about a lot um, who's just called me and ju just to let me know that there are people out there that care about me regardless of the situation and I thank you guys I thank you guys so much so much I've met some incredible some amazing people on this journey of ACG and I wouldn't trade them in for the world I would not so I just want to thank you guys thank you so much thank you for all your comments thank you for all your emails thank you for my to my new subscribers hi subbies you're in for a ride um, you know, and just thank you thank you I'm, I'm not a religious person I'm probably the only Muslim Jew that you'll ever meet in your life <laughs> yes I'm Muslim and yes I study Kabbalah so there you go so um, I'm not highly religious but I am spiritual and I believe in a God I reference goddesses a lot because I believe there are goddesses out there and um, I believe that the goddesses are shining their beauty upon me and down on me and I believe that God has a plan for me and his plan includes me getting rid of this weight that's been crippling me for years and it also includes happiness it includes me smiling like I, I did a few months ago it includes me having less to worry about and more faith that everything is gonna work out in the end and having the belief that not everything that happens is bad sometimes things happen and it's a blessing in disguise and everything happens for a reason and I'm learning that daily and I'm being strong by it it's it's making me a better person a better mom and a better mother a, a better mother and a better woman sorry it's it's definitely reshaping my future and it's definitely definitely have uh, has me thinking a lot about people and the the people you let into your life and around your family and their intent So, you know, I just want to thank you guys. I want to thank you guys. From the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for always being there for me. Now, go take your HCG and get off the computer. Bye.